I open up this morning at 9 a.m., just like always. Then I shut off the alarms and opened up. Were all the alarms in working order? Oh, they worked perfectly. I can't understand it. Was the idol the only thing that was taken? Parker, what are you doing here? I was on my way to class when I saw your car. Doesn't this prove that Mr. Jameson was innocent? Certainly not. You know, Captain, there could be international repercussions over this. Yeah? Well, don't you worry about it, Parker. I'll find it. Have you questioned those Calistanis that tried to take the statue from you? Well, that's a terrific idea, Parker. Talk about your international repercussions. You want me to waltz up to the Calistani consulate and accuse them of robbery? That'd look great in the papers. Yeah, I see what you mean. Sir, how many sets of keys to the museum were there? Uh, well, we have uh, two sets in security, and uh, Dr. Rustin had two sets of keys. Maybe there's a record in his office of who has that other set. Well, what are we waiting for? Trina? Well, twice in one week. I guess the university isn't as big as I thought it was. Trina, I have to talk to you. Uh, sure, but I've got a class. Can I wait? Rava was stolen last night. Oh. That's terrible. I think you had something to do with it. I'm going to be late. You told me that you locked up the museum the night you let Mr. Jameson in. The police will find out that you've got a set of keys. It's just a question of time. But we don't have much time. Here we, Trina. Hello. I'll be taking the idol back to Calistan tonight. Was this the man? Who is he? His name is Mandak. He's the high priest of Rava. Why did you help him? I had to. He's got... A kind of power. Yeah, I know. It's called telekinesis. He can make things happen with his mind. That's how they choose the high priest. Whoever has the greatest power gets the job. The other night, at the museum, when Mandak and Professor Rustin were arguing, were you there? It's... He made the idol shake. He made a scimitar fly at the professor. And he made a stone object fall. Everything Mr. Jameson said happened really did happen. Certainly you made the idol fall on the professor, too. Well, then why don't you go to Captain Barbera and tell him all that so Mr. Jameson can get out of jail? Look, maybe Professor Rustin will get better, and maybe he'll clear Mr. Jameson, but that isn't going to happen for a while. There's a meeting tomorrow of the stockholders at the newspaper. If Mr. Jameson isn't there, he will lose control of the bugle. You have got to do it now. I, I should have done it already. But I was afraid of Mandak. Oh, dear. I'm so ashamed. Don't be. Everybody will realize how hard it was to stand up against that kind of power. So I want to check on the location of every Calistani in the city. Then call the Immigration Service. Call the State Department. 10-4. Out. Why, what? Talk to you. I have something important to say. You could have phoned. Would you have believed me if I called and said I was Spider-Man? You got a point. What kind of information? The idol of Rava was stolen by a man named Mandak. It's being held at the Kalistani consulate. It might as well be in Kalistan. I can't go busting in their consulate without some pretty heavy evidence. I know that. But if you happen to be at the rear of the consulate tonight, about 11, 
You just might find the idol sitting on the curb. Yeah, they're just going to give it back like that? Not exactly. Just be there tonight at 11. You'll see. <laughs> Yo, 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 get yours one of these days, you, you, you whip-headed! Mr. Jameson, how did it go at the stockholders' meeting? Oh, I think you could say I sunk that pirate. <laughs> it was beautiful. So you're still in control of the newspaper? Well, there was never any doubt about that. Once I got out of that ridiculous jail... Oh, I'm sorry about that, sir. I was doing my job. You did an excellent job, Captain. I thank you, sir. I'd like to take all the credit, but I have to admit I couldn't have pulled it off without Spider-Man. Oh, well, he'd be delighted to hear you say that, Captain. Do you mind if the Bugle quotes you on that? Not on your life. I'm not giving any recognition to some freak who runs around in a red and blue Union suit. Mr. Jameson, what's the latest on Professor Rustin's condition? Oh, I called the hospital after the meeting. He's much better. That is great news. By the way, Captain, whatever happened to Mandak? Well, it looks like he's going to be all right. But the Calistanis have granted him diplomatic immunity for some reason. Why? I don't know. Could it be that the government of Kalistan has plans for him and his cult of Rava? <laughs> I see what you mean. Well, uh, Mr. Jameson and Captain, why don't you both step in here next to the idol and then I can take pictures. Excellent. Okay. Come on right here. Yeah, why don't you come in close? Mm hmm This is one picture that's sure to make the front page of the bugle. Really? 
at front page rates. Yeah, at front page rates.